Well, split it long ways, didn't really split it short ways, <laughs> but that's what we gotta do. We gotta split it short ways and uh, give it another try. There we go. Got another one down. Warm the house up tonight. There's another one. A couple pieces. Here's another one with the eye hole. I'll we'll cock through it. Right there, you know. And let's go start the fire. Welcome to my crib. I have a 1898 Ford, the first model, as you can see. E350 Power Stroke and uh, developed at the turn of the century. And uh, I got some fresh tires on here. And uh, my garage is parked out back. I got the garage here. I'll show you around outside. So we have my garage, it's falling off the frame. And uh, got a couple extra straps on there for a bit, but that gets me around town when my house breaks down. And uh, take you up to the second floor. So there's the second floor guys and uh, you can see I got my uh, power here and my escape hatch for when I flip this thing over and uh, you never know what's going to happen on the second floor. How much power you got up here? I got a lot, about 200 horsepower <laughs> and uh, 200 horsepower really does a job, gets the batteries going and yeah. I'll All come right. Down. Come down for a bit so I don't shock you guys. But really, we gotta get the gotta get the stove going, get the heat going. You know, stay warm for tonight. Oh, these belt buckles, this. I don't know what's going on there. What the hell's that? That's Artifact. Buckle. All right, let me get my razor back and let's go inside. Got to walk the plank to get in here. It's a bit of a luxury. So uh, here's my fireplace, and we gotta get this thing going. Oh, it's already going, so we just gotta add more wood. It doesn't really fit. I have to cut it a little shorter. But uh, it's 700 degrees in here, according to the fucking thing. All right, Let's save this one later. Got that going. You have any lights in here? So um, yeah, we got some lights. You wanna see the lights? Yeah, I do. All right, so we got the lights going, and uh, what are you plugging it into there? Uh, my circuit breaker, but here's the lights. That looks nice. Yeah, so it's uh, I got the uh, thousand horsepower LEDs. What's going on with the ceiling? Was that custom? Ordered it off of Amazon. <laughs> this is all Amazon wood. I got it from Amazon, all put together just like this, and I put. It all uh, it fit up right away. I, I don't know. It's like custom fit for the bus. Amazon did a really good job. I got to really get about the Amazon and eBay. Uh, they also served me up this beer. They sponsored me. But uh, I have this great towel rack, shower rack that I uh, received from Walmart. Walmart hooked me up and I got the sponsorship. So they hooked me up with that. And they also gave me these sweet drawers. Put your beer in there. It slides around when you're driving, but it doesn't spill over, so you're good to drink and drive. Uh, yep. My oh, watch out for my axe there. It's falling over. That's a little stiff there. A little, needs a little work, guys. So is this table fold down? Uh, if you kick it over, it drops, and it folds into a bed. And then these pillows kind of sit on top, they, these backers. That one comes over here and it drops down once you kick it. And uh, it's your little love seat sofa couch thing. All right. And uh, yeah, it gets the job done. And uh, what's going over here? Over where? We have a, uh, a leftovers from uh, somebody cooked some something. And I can't get the cushion back in place, but. Yeah, uh, we have pasta on the thing. If you want some pasta, there's not much left, but if you want a bite, there's probably about a half a bite left. And then uh, we have our sink. And this is where I clean all my dishes, as you would suspect. Wash my cock. 
and uh, <laughs> that's, about, that's about it that all goes on here. And then here we have, let me make the bed, hold on. Make the bed a little bit, yeah. Uh, this is where all the magic happens, is right on this bed here, and it's very cozy. You got about two feet until you hit your head when you wake up in the morning. And, and about uh, three feet till you fall off. And about three feet till you fall off. Yep. It's good enough for about five ladies. Uh, myself and five ladies. But that's all about you can fit in here. And then uh, when you go underneath the bed, you have the bridge. You have hot sauce. Uh, you always need the hot sauce. What kind of hot sauce? Frank's, of course, you know. It's good on everything. It even says it. Uh, you got the lemon. You always need a lemon. You got your beer. A couple of beers. You got your backup beer, in case you run out of beer. And then once you run out of beer, you have your champagne. And then you have a... Uh, once you lost it all, you just eat these habaneros and you just end it. But then... Oh, why isn't that cutting? What the hell's going on here, guys? Oh, shuts now. Get a sip of beer. What's in the fridge from the freezer? Not frozen beer. No, we have Rocky Road, because that's the road we're on. It's a little bit rocky. It's my life. And an ice cream container. And uh, I got jalapeno cheddar sausages. And an ice pack. Ow, I fucking shut my thumb in the damn door! <laughs> Ah, all right, but then we go back here to my pantry. You always got to have the chicken and wild rice. That's, you know, I go out to Progresso, look for the sponsorship, and uh, hopefully one day they hook it up. But if not, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a diehard Progresso fan. Never really had it, but I'm going to say I am. Uh, a lot of detox stuff going on here because that's uh, mostly what this trip's about. <laughs> and uh, I got my coffee, my tortillas, and uh, of course my potato sack. Got the potato sack on there, custom made from a potato farmer. Where'd you get them? Uh, eBay hooked it up again. Uh, <coughs> a lot of shit's going on here. This fireplace is cooking. I know, it's uh, what's it at now? 500 degrees. We're at 500. It's hot as fuck. Uh, I turn off the carbon monoxide detector just to kind of see where my life goes. And uh, I don't know what you else want to see, MTV. Um, how about up front here? Tell me a little about these cabinets. All right, so uh, we got these cabinets uh, all custom built. Pretty sturdy. This one's a little shaky. It's kind of coming off, as you see. But uh, you open it up. This is where all the magic happens again. Boom. Oh, this thing's kind of falling apart here, but uh, got my list of uh, shit that is in front of us, and I don't really know what I'm looking at, but that's there. Right there for, uh, you know, back up. Oh, and here's the lights. Boom. Got the lights, and there is a splinter in my foot, and I'm just going to ignore it as I'm talking, because it hurts really bad. Oh, so you got to let the door up. Boom. Open. Boom, here we go. Extra cabinet. I don't know what that was, but extra cabinet to uh, electrical stuff. I got some parts in here and some uh, miscellaneous, you know, shit when, when stuff does go wrong. I got an uh, air freshener, an extra carbon monoxide detector, electrical tape, tester, Oh, handy dandy mat. Because we've been everywhere. Lived all along this route. <laughs> and uh, we kind of made it out to there. Skagway on this. Glacier Bay. Do you know? No. Man, let's get your cushion. Oh, did you talk about your cushion? The cushion? What about the cushion? Uh, the design on them. Oh, so, you know, I figure when we lose cell service, we got no Garmin, we got no Magellan, no GPS. Like, what are we going to do? Of course we can't look at an atlas, because we don't have one. 
So, you whip out the old cushion. Boom, bitch. We are uh, right around there, Skagway. Skags. And uh, we're in this part of the zone, so we're just going to follow these roads down to Vancouver, down here. So, when all else fails, you rely on the cushion. That's like, my grandma always told me just to rely on the cushion. And, uh, you know, I take it to heart, and that's why well, I had to make these. And should we just go jump in the river? Should we just go for a swim right now? Should we go to the bathroom? Yeah, where do you go to the bathroom, Mikey? I go out here in this river here. So let me just fucking... End it all, guys. Just gotta kind of fall down the sill. <sighs> Yeah, what do you mean did it work? <laughs> I fell on the hill, didn't I? You did, you fell perfectly. <laughs> Got some rocks in my bum. Alright, well, let's wrap it up. Um, so yeah, that I was just, your crib, right? This is my bathtub here, and uh, I, got a, I got one of the largest bathtubs on the cribs. And uh, I'm just gonna go, gonna take a shower now. Alright. Oh, it's so cold. I got no hot water today. <laughs>